Hey. Hey. Listen. Young master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? It's been a while, young master. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. Why did I change my name? Why am I a politician? Why did I help destroy the Tojo clan? And are you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain any of it? I am. My condition was cured in America. I got a lung transplant. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, you can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. That why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa. And because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. <laughs> and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, you don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Ogasawara's grateful? You killed him. <laughs> oh, that... That was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to yourself. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped him, he ran his mouth about Bleach Japan, did he not? He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So... <laughs> You just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... See? Proper risk management is all about mitigating threats before they... But he was your buddy! He helped you start Bleach Japan! Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer... relevant. Like father, like son, right? My father looked after you for years, but when he had to, he cut you from the family. That's not how it went down. He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe. You think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, Kasuga. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. Oh, but I do. Because Sawashiro didn't kill that guy in the first place. What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Yeah, that club in Kamurocha we went to. On New Year's Eve. Yeah. It was your girlfriend's birthday. Right. I've certainly had better nights. What? Young Master? How long have you been there? Uh, 
Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Get up! You can't sleep here, you fucking drunk! Come on, move your ass! Uh, f fuck off, man. This building's my family's property. So clear out. Go on, go! You're Yakuza. That means you're garbage. What you say? Don't touch me! You're a counter to turf now, fool! In this town, let me go! Fear the Yakuza! I don't know what backwards village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho the hard way, motherfucker! <laughs> you think you're hot shit cause you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. Do it! <laughs> Come on! Fucking do it if you've got the balls. Can't do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? <sighs> Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now you're dead. <clears throat> Zero. I, I fucked up. I killed a guy. No. 
You were the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did, then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. <sighs> Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, do you still trust the old asshole? <sighs> <laughs> I can only imagine how you must feel. Doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang. Right? <clears throat> Must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Well, say something, Ichi. It doesn't matter what you say. I trust Arakawa-san. <laughs> then answer one question for me. Why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. It's kind of touching. Nostalgic, even. I can't even bring myself to be mad. What an honor. You know, I thought this meeting was gonna be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched, too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. I'll let you live. We do go way back, after all. But I do have one condition. Don't ever come near me or Dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Ichin Show and get Kume to end his campaign. <laughs> Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens' Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, he'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens' Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections even in favor of a simpleton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Ogikubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinjo revitalization shelters part of your game too? Oh, those. <laughs> those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. Wait, what? I thought the shelters were helping people get visas. <laughs> Don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. The shelters will bus them to the Immigration Bureau, where they'll be deported. For real? You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Ijincho by cleansing it of criminals. Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Absolutely not. Well, then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Did you actually think I'd come here tonight because I wanted to negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. 
The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. What the hell is this? I thought the young master said he would come alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for rejecting his offer. Guess I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! Go! Hey! Guys, why are you here? Just get out of the damn way! Let's go! I told you it was a trap. Listen to me next time. The infield missed a few grounders. Time to call up the reserves. Let's give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him! Right. Watch me. I'm in it now! I wouldn't have heard it. Nine years. Are you serious right now? Take this. Be still, would you? You sure you want to get hurt? I got you. Let's go. I have secrets too.
Excellent. Isn't this all a little much just to take me out? Come on. Maybe it is. But then again, you did survive being shot. So taking precautions makes sense. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cat. Thought you'd have some meat on you, but you're kind of scrawny, ain't ya? <laughs> Don't get cocky. Make sure he dies here. In that case, how about we draw and quarter him? <laughs> No way he pulls out of that one, eh? <laughs> Do what you must. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for the human version. When I'm done, I'll put his head in a box and ship it to you tomorrow. Just do it right. You leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. So you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. No, that's enough talk. Kill him already. <laughs> Let's start the dissection! Don't let up! Well... Are you sure you want to get hurt? Huh? Is this some kind of joke? Wait, take this! Be still, would you? You're in one more fight. Oh, I have I got this. 
Reverse it now. I wouldn't have fun with this. Me. saying you were going to put my head in a box and ship it to the captain? I'm sure he'll be surprised to see your head in there then.
That guy was really gross. Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? They're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great! Ichiban! Hamako-san? Is something wrong? I was just at the shelter. The shelter? I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. But... But they were all gone. None of the staff would tell me where they went. I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Hamako-san. Please, help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. No! Those girls, they don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to Ijincho in the first place. I just want to... I just wanted to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my son. If only I hadn't told them to go to the shelter. If only I'd realized sooner. It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. I told Hamako san to get some rest. Thanks, Sachan. Eugene Cho just keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? How we should basically get out of here while we can? Maybe we should consider that. For real. You wanna run? I mean, isn't the situation kinda hopeless at this point? Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Oh, uh, not off the top of my head, no. How about you, Adachi-san? Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. My parents died a long time ago. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that, then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Komiju and the Liuma. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking you got a chance to win, you're just being a bully. Uh, what the hell? Not gonna lie, that sounds kinda stupid. Hell no. A real fight's when you go up against someone so strong, you got no chance. Our enemies are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah! Put them on the list! Good enough for me! You guys are ridiculous. You know that, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like that about us. Yeah... What is my damage? Nanba! Sachan! Join us, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? Yeah, no, I've been a butt. But if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, it'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. 
Let's knock them on their asses. There's more? I can't eat all this. Don't sweat it, Chairman. Us young folks can handle this chow. Oh, definitely. My stomach's a bottomless pit. Bon appetit! Hell yeah! We got so focused on our food that we forgot to actually discuss anything. Oh, it is damn good. Yeah, yeah. We have to get down to business. Guess I'm kicking us off. This is Kunmekun, leader of Bleach Japan's Yokohama branch. He's going to run for this district's representative seat in the next election. Now what you gotta understand about this kid is he's just step one of Ryo Aoki's scheme to turn Jincho into his personal political machine. Xiao's correct. Kume is just one step. Aoki's other steps include a huge number of Bleach Japan candidates all over the country. Yeah. I noticed that, too. Ah, and the dam is broken. There's no stopping it now. Governor Aoki's too popular. There's no one who can stand up to him. So you think Kume's win is a done deal, Chairman Hoshino? Pretty much. Kume has Aoki's broad public adoration at his back. Throwing Aoki's fundraising and media savviness. Kume's got a very real shot at this. I'd say so. He wants Ijincho so bad, it's gotten personal for him. Since it was Ogikubo's kingdom before, seizing it makes Aoki the new heir apparent. That's gotta be what he's thinking. Yes. I'd venture to say that even if the Citizens Liberal Party wins every other district, he won't be satisfied unless he wins this one. He's gonna throw everything he's got at this contest. Definitely. Well, I'm not gonna roll over and just take it. Anybody with me? With you on what? On taking this dude down a peg. I'm sick of getting our asses kicked. We all are, but... We can't just let him win. We need to do something. I mean, Bleach Japan is in bed with the Omi Alliance. Isn't that fucked up? It's... You know, hypocritical. They go around preaching about how gray zones need to go, acting like they're heroes or something. Meanwhile, they team up with gangsters to take over Japan, and everyone just claps for them? Thing is, Kasuga, these gangsters have a governor on their side. They're untouchable. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? What's gotten into you? The Ejin Three used to protect the weak and vulnerable in this town. Granted, you did it by running a huge scam, so I'm not gonna give you too much credit. But after everything the city's given you, don't you feel like you owe something to it? Look, I know none of you guys did what you did just for the money. Okikubo was the one raking in all the dirty riches. You guys wanted to stop a war from destroying this town. And if you don't stand up now, you're basically abandoning the Ejin Three's purpose. It's a discreet. You sure you want to finish that thought? Yeah, dial it down, or I'll set you straight. Well, I for one agree with him. Uh, you do? Everything you said is true. We all lived in the Grey Zones, and sure, that ain't something to be proud of. But at least we could be proud of putting food on the tables of our men and their families. You're with me on that, at least, right, Songwei? If we roll over, we will be throwing away everything we've ever worked for. Zhao. No, it's true. And remember, I left the Liu Meng in your hands. I trusted you to consider what my men need. This is shaping up to be your first job as their new boss. Come on, Song Hui. 
Damn it. Fine. Uh, Chairman Hoshino, you got any wisdom of your own to lend us? Well, I do understand the need to be fair to the city. I'll help. And to think, <laughs> I only came here for the food. Didn't expect to get roped into some noble last stand. You know what they say, there's no such thing as a free lunch. True that. Now let's go take care of Kume. I have to admit, I will enjoy knocking that little punk off his pedestal. So what's a move? Good question. We need to strike, but how? Don't you think it's obvious? No. What? We need to ruin the young master's reputation. Meaning? We gotta make sure Kume loses the election. How do you propose we do that? Um, that part I hadn't really figured out. But once we do, it'll be like kicking Aoki right in the face! I don't see how it's feasible. I mean, we could maim him. If he's too injured, he'd have to pull out of the race, and then... You wanna kill him? Well, only if he resists. We can't do that. If he dies, I'll just replace him with some other tool. I'm sure they've got backup candidates waiting in the wings. Hey, winning. That's how we do it. We just win it ourselves. Huh? We win the election with our own candidate. Put someone up who can get more votes than Kume. There's got to be someone out there who can do it. Yes, probably. But how do we figure out who this someone is? <laughs> We're not political consultants. Well, we should remember the votes for Kume aren't really for him in the first place. They're votes for Aoki. Good point. Can you think of anyone who fits the bill, Chairman Hoshino? Unfortunately, I can't say I do. Ogikubo was an incumbent here for many years, but no opponents who posed any real threat. The only people who ever ran against him just did so as a formality. Hey, you seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you run? Excuse me? Yeah, people know who you are. You've got charisma. No Yakuza's gonna win an election, even in the Jincho. But if he did, I'd consider the world doomed. <laughs> Seriously. But I could try to recruit someone who would have a chance in the race. That's a start. I hope you're not expecting me to shoulder this burden alone, though. What do you mean? Elections cost money. A lot of money. If I find a candidate, who's footing the bill for the campaign? Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now, my people don't have a single yen to spare. Right. So, uh, how much is it exactly? I'm willing to chip in some myself. But I'll need an additional three million yen cash just to register. Three million? You need that much? At a minimum. If you can't scrape that amount together, this plan is dead in the water. <sighs> I hate to say it, but he's right. Can you do it, Kasuga-kun? <laughs> <laughs>